special thanks to EK Waterblocks. Just just watch their entire video. It'll blow your mind, all the new stuff that's coming out. Also, thanks to Azrock, their new motherboards. They're, you know what? They do more than just that. They've got their all-in-ones and everything else, so be sure to watch that entire video. And thanks to Innovex. They've sponsored us to come and check out all the cool, innovative stuff, so be sure to watch all that coverage. The links are in the top of the description. See these small, unassuming devices? Well, these are IoT devices that do not work on the regular internet. They work on something called Sigfox. Now, you may not have heard of this. It's uh, in some of the bigger cities in the USA, but it ha they have 95% coverage in Taiwan based upon the population. Um, and here's the way this works. It's a separate network than your regular you know, internet of things. It does not connect to the network. It's not Zigbee. It's much bigger. They, he said kind of like a cell network. They, they put them on the top of buildings and stuff up here. They were just showing the buildings. Um, so you just put the little routers on top of buildings and then you create a separate network. It's not a mesh, it's a separate network with three layers of protection, like hardware encryption and that sort of thing. You can add your own on top of that. But one thing that I like about this is you have your GPS trackers, uh, you have an Arduino here, so you guys know that you can do a ton with an Arduino. But since it's not on the internet, you're not gonna have to worry about this connecting to your personal computer and stuff. No one's gonna be able to hack it. If they, if they can you know, get into this, maybe they'll be able to mess with some of your sensors and stuff. But it's a totally different story when you're talking about them getting in and like stealing your data on your personal computer. That won't happen here. So let's talk about some of the applications you guys can already see here. Uh, you, can, you can get these sensor modules. Now, since it's not on the internet, you are gonna have to pay a connection you know, fee, but it's really, really inexpensive. Like, you can see here, we've got like the temperature sensors and, and bell. Motion sensors is really cool, but let's just temperature sensor and stuff. That'd be about 12 bucks a year to get it online. And then as you add more modules, it's gonna get you know lower and lower the price. It, it, you pay for it all in total. So you get a several, several of these together, you might be paying eight, seven, five dollars a month per item. So not too bad. All right, so let's, uh, let's talk about some of the applications. You got the motion sensor. That's gonna be handy if you, you know, put it in your office or your house, somebody comes in, you're like, hey, Something's happening. Now this one's really cool, vibration. Let's say you've got a, a bike or, a, um, or something like that. Put one of these on there, also put a GPS sensor on there. And then if someone comes and messes with it, tampers with it, starts moving it around, well, you'll know that. Now let's talk about battery life. So let's, let's look at these GPS sensors here. Now normally with your phones and stuff, it's always, always pinging like every, every second or two, like, hey, here's where I am. You can set these up so that they only ping like once every 10 minutes, once every hour, whatever. Or when uh, they're in motion. Yeah, when they're in motion, like whenever they're tampered with or mess, messed with or whatever. Yeah, go ahead and crank yours on. So this is gonna be cool because uh, you'll, you can like put one of these on the bottom of your bike, on your scooter, on, on whatever. And if someone moves it, you'll know where it is. Now the battery life on these, if you guys set this to like only activate when it's moved, when it's tampered with, well the battery could last six months or longer. And on some of these devices, the battery will be over a year, especially the ones that don't have to worry about GPS. GPS is gonna be the thing that drains your battery the most. Now, these are some things that they've already used. Special Olympics in Dubai. Everyone got one of these little units. This is a GPS personal tracker uh, that works on the Sigfox network. Everyone have one of these in their pocket. If you're worried about being tracked, just leave it at your hotel and go do your secret things, right? But this is handy because, you know, you, you don't know the city and you're there for an event. Everyone gets one of these, nobody's gonna get lost now. So that's really cool. This is something they're doing, they're doing in Hong Kong. You know these things, they get either over full or sometimes they're not full? Yeah. Check that action out. So what, what they're doing in Hong Kong right now is they have these uh, and they're using Sigfox technology to say like, hey, this trash can's full, come and change it. But that also saves them a lot of time because sometimes the trash cans are not full, but they're just making the rounds and they're like, oh, well, we wasted time coming over here. This trash can's not been used today. So yeah. that's a cool way to, to like, you know, use this technology. All right, this is something we need in Portland right now. We need this everywhere. Oh my God, we need this so bad in Portland. Okay. One in five cars is driving around in the city is looking for parking. That's why they're driving around in circles all day, which is what I do 90% of my time. Oh my God, parking by our office is awful. Yeah. Yeah. So this will say like, hey, uh, Sigfox says, one of these spots over here is is empty and you can just like drive on over there. Stop wasting your time driving around in circles all day. That could save so much time for everybody. And if everyone's using this technology, uh, then cities will just run better. Interbrain is another implementation of Sigfox. And what Interbrain is doing is they use these little modules on each floor of uh, different buildings and it will tell them the optimal, you know, you tell it the optimal temperature and then it can say like, hey, you guys are wasting a lot of power. It monitors the temperature, it monitors all that sort of thing on each floor. And the buildings that have implemented this have saved 60% on their power bills, so much that the uh, inner brain is like, listen, we're gonna come install this, and instead of getting just like paid for this, we're gonna split some of that money that we're saving you. You guys just 
we're going to save you, you know, 60% on your power bill, but give us 20% and we'll be all happy. And they're like, you know what, 60% saved, you could have it. This was used on trolleys. People worried about the trolleys at the airports and stuff getting lost, so, ah, come back here. So there's a lot of applications for this, but the main point is like, now we have like um, another Internet of Things family of devices here that does not rely on regular internet. And I think it's a really smart idea to have a separate network, so let me know what you guys think of this in the comments, and let me know what you guys might do, especially with the Arduino, because I know a lot of you guys out there uh, tinker with Arduinos, and that, there's a lot of different applications for that, so how would you guys use this? Let me know.